Hello, and in the last lecture presented by www.free-academy.com, we did use substitution to solve integrals for a matter of convenience. Now, we're going to do use substitution as a matter of necessity. And uh, to lay this out right here, I have the integral, the cosine of 2x dx, which we currently have no idea how to solve. We know how to solve the integral of cosine of x dx. That just equals sine of x plus c, of course. So we need to get this integral, the cosine of 2x, looking like cosine of x before we can solve it. And we're going to do that using u substitution. Now I'm getting sick of that color, so we're going to go to a different one. In this integral we have, what are we going to pick as our u? Remember, we need to pick something that's going to simplify it. So let's make u equal to the parentheses there, 2x. We implicitly differentiate to get du equals 2dx. And we solve for dx to get 2 over du. Moment. Sorry, du over 2. Knew that looked wrong. du over 2. Alright, I'm not liking this color either. Let's try turquoise. Let's substitute into our equation now all our different components to get the integral of the cosine of u du multiplied by one half and uh, just in case you're wondering what I did we took the 2x and we did the substitution because we defined 2x equal to u and our dx was equal to du over one half and then I took the one half and I brought it out front all very normal integration stuff this integral we know how to solve and then we multiply it by the one half so we get one half sine of u plus c is the answer we have to get this back in terms of x so we substitute our u back in to get one half sine of 2x plus c. That's it. That's using sub u substitution as a necessity. Not that bad, really. You have to pick a u that simplifies things. Take the implicit, implicitly differentiate your u to find dx, and just substitute everything back into your equation. Keep in mind, you can get it wrong. You can come up with something that's useless. If it doesn't make it easier to solve, you have to try a different u. Let's do some more practice problems. And I'm digging this blue background here because it's going to work really well with the yellow marker. Let's find the integral of sine of x squared 2x dx. And just uh, for a matter of convenience, let me write out that the integral of sine of x dx equals negative cosine of x plus c. So that's the equation we need to get this in by the time we're all done. Let's do the straightforward thing and make u equal to the parentheses x squared. Implicit differentiate to get du equals 2x dx I will save some trouble here 2x dx 2x dx they're the same so we substitute x squared x squared are the same so we substitute there too that will give us the integral of sine of u du and just once again to really drive this home I'm sure most of you guys got it our u equals our x squared equals u, so we substituted the x squared in for u. And our 2x dx equal du, so we just substituted that in. 
All right, now we have the integral of sine u du. We have the integral of sine x dx. We know what that is. That is the integral, I'm sorry. The integral of sine u du equals negative cosine of x, I'm sorry, of u, negative cosine of u plus c. God, how can you guys figure out anything with me teaching? <laughs> Our u, we have there, we just substitute back in, negative cosine x squared plus c is our answer. And we'll do one more practice problem for this lecture, and then I'll do a ton more practice problems outside this lecture. Let's find the integral of 2x... Um, like that. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm gonna do it again. I'm just making something up, so if you're wondering what's taking so long, x to the fourth plus one. x to the third dx. This probably looks pretty familiar. x squared. Uh, it's very similar to the one that I did as a matter of convenience in a previous lecture. But either way, it's still a very good example. Let's pick our u. What would we like our u to be equal to? Let's try what's in the parentheses there. x to the fourth plus 1. We implicitly differentiate to get du equals 4x to the third dx. x to the third dx equals one-fourth du. All I did is took the fourth, moved it to the other side. Pretty straightforward there. This x to the third dx is the same as this right there. So we do a straight substitution in for that. One-fourth du. Our x to the fourth plus one is the same as we have in our integrand. So we do a straight substitution there too to give us u. That's squared. And there's our integral. We'll draw the fourth out to the outside, make it nice and easy, to give us one fourth the integral of u squared du. Now we'll apply the power rule that we have to give us one third u to the third this simplifies to 1 12th u to the third oh, plus c. Actually, that's a little ugly. Um, what I did there is technically valid. I took the 1 third u to the third plus c, and I put it inside the parentheses where you multiply the 1 fourth through. But because this uh, the c is an arbitrary number, you can just absorb the 1 fourth into it. The way I really should have written it, however, is just to have the parenthesis and then add the plus c. It's the same one way or the other. Uh, the lecture of the integration constant goes through that if that's any confusion to you. But now that we have 1 to 12 u to the third, we're going to substitute our u back in to give us 1 12 x to the fourth plus 1 raised to the third power, plus c. And that's our answer. And I'll go through a ton of examples on these. I'll probably do like at least 10 or 15 uh, example problems on u substitution because it's very, very important to doing uh, integrals. So hopefully this was all helpful for you. Send me some questions to the website if there's any confusion.